Hello everyone, Dominic here from Esports News UK. Um, this interview has been planned for quite some time and we've got a good excuse to do it now because I'm joined by Boaster of Summon FC. Uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Boaster. And the reason for this interview, you've made it all the way to the final uh, of Valorant First Strike Europe, um, which was you know, a fantastic achievement and I don't want to dwell on uh, the fact that the fact that you lost three one because I think to have got there from you know despite being a team for what really only a few months is a fantastic achievement. So what are your thoughts so far and I guess your reflections on the final? Um, honestly, I'm obviously I'm sad about losing in the final, but I'm happy with our performance uh, despite losing, and I'm looking forward to 2021 and seeing like the growth of the team and like what we can do with more time under our belt and like more resource resources and like preparation. Um, yeah. hundred percent. And look, I've said you've got, you went on such a good run. And I think the fact that the final was for me, it was close. I think the scores in some of the games didn't fully reflect how close some of, uh, you know, mm. each game was. Um, and it was testament to you guys that uh, game three was so, uh, sorry, game four was so close you were 11-11, I think, at one point, and you, you came right back into it. You know, two, three games uh, points go your way, and then it's 2-2, two, two, and then we're on for a, a best of five. So what was your thought process in that 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 fourth map? You know, and there was a tense pause, wasn't there, at one point as mm. well. But you, you hang on. You must be proud that you were able to, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Yeah, I think going into that fourth map, um, it was our pick and like we knew they played it as well and i thought i had a decent enough read on them to know like what to call on t side but unfortunately i think due to like lack of experience or uh or something i might have made a few of the wrong calls in the stressful situations and, like it just made the whole kind of our attack side kind of hectic but then when it came to ct side i knew that we'd be able to bounce back we just needed to get our confidence up it also didn't help that we lost pretty much every pistol round on every map i think i don't really know if we won any pistol rounds in the uh, all the maps and when you don't win a pistol round it's really hard to get the momentum but i'm still really proud of the boys to come back from a i think it was like a something four to a like an 11 11 in favor yes. of us as well it was and, that four yeah yeah and they were on a bad buy they saved one gun and the guy that saved the one gun managed to make like a big play onto the B site and uh, yeah, and then the round unfolded and it was a slow like butterfly effect of everyone dying and then I was like, damn it. Because uh, that was our that was our shot to like get the 12-11 and maybe everyone in the team was feeling that but I think. Yeah, and you, you mentioned maybe lack of confidence. Was it nerves? Because for me, I, for me, I didn't get that impression because you've come so far in the tournament, but did that get to you, do you think, a little bit, the grand final? I think it's not so much nerves. I don't know if people are feeling nerves, but I think it's composure. Uh, I don't know if that's the same thing, but I think it's like knowing how to handle stressful, like uh, like uh, crazy situations and stuff. And like they had a team filled with like members who had like been previously in like professional teams and stuff. So they've mm -hmm. definitely got that under our belt. Whereas we're a, a bunch of like loose kids, some still at school, switching from games, suddenly made a big progress into a game. Other than like me and TSEC who have a little bit of experience, but still compared to the other, like the other enemy team, I don't think we had any, uh, anywhere near as much. So I think that's what got them the edge on us. And they had a comp that isn't quite a normal comp compared mm. to every other team that we faced. It's really hard to play against Sages, and their Sage is really good. So it kind of went hand in hand to us losing. Sad. You mentioned there, um, Boaster, coming from different games, different backgrounds. And you, of course, your background was in CS. Um, I know you were Excel uh, for a while as well as a content creator. But how, for you, does sort of Valorant compare to that? Has it been a enjoyable switch to, to be back playing competitively in a similar game yes yeah, so i've always dreamed of playing competitively and making it to the top sadly in cs i couldn't really do that um 
uh, there was no options for it and I, I don't know if I had the potential maybe who knows um, and then when it came to me in League of Legends I was like the vlogger and the sub for XL and yeah. I was like I had this like drive and ambition to go pro in any game I wanted I played and then Valorant came out which was kind of similar to CSGO but with abilities mm. and I was like this is this is my chance to like make uh, to like blaze the trail kind of thing like set the path like for all the other teams and like be creative and make our own meta and stuff and I mean you saw at this tournament like with the bind and the viper like we really made it our own mm. um but uh yeah I, I actually can't remember the question uh, I, I was I, just saying, like, I'm guessing, are you enjoying playing in a game that's similar yeah. to CSGO? And it sounds to me like you are. Like you say, it's been your dream of playing competitively. Yeah. You're there now, really. You've just finished runners-up in a, the first top uh, European yeah. Valorant tournament. Yeah, so, yeah, just the creativity and, like, the competitiveness and, like, the ability to be at the top is, like, just amazing. It's truly, like, and it's nice. Do you know what I love about your story as well at Summon FC? is you formed this team, this Auglis team, and where there, there are other teams that have tried to come in. Um, you know, lots of names, Rick, Guild Esports, not got as far as you have, and you're Auglis. I mean, what, I mean I'm mean, i guessing you've had some offers and things in the past. What Are you keeping your options open, waiting for the, the right offer, perhaps? So, with, uh, with me, I don't really focus on any of that sort of business stuff. I'm not quite the businessman. So my goal was to just solely focus on the team and first strike because that's what matters. Like yeah. coming in, making sure we come into this tournament fully prepared. And I, essentially I did as much as I could with like my coach Mini and all the boys. And uh, as for like what happens after this event, we got to the finals. So like, who knows? Like we're, we must be looking pretty like a delicious dish or something, you know? <laughs> 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 Absolutely, I'd say so. I'd say so, definitely. And the fact that there's so many of you, that it's a UK team, right? What are your mm. thoughts? I think half of the teams going into the playoffs at First Strike Europe um, had UK talent on them. Does that? How does that feel? Because in, there are many esports games out there where we don't have much UK talent. Mm. I, I think uh, it's great. I mean, these two UK talents of Mo and Mystic, I didn't even know before Valorant. I like found them in uh pro queue like just like some random face it hub and yeah. i was like these guys are pretty good oh they're from the uk like what game did they come from i don't even know who they are and they came from like battle royales and then i was like they could be and like they could be pretty decent and i made a team with them and then like we got a nice friendship a nice vibe and i think that's like why the uk is doing pretty well is because We've got a mixture of like different games and like different atmosphere. Like they haven't got bad basics from CS:GO, or they've got really like they're really driven. Like, mm -hmm. and I've always been uh, somewhat driven in like when I'm playing video games. And so pair that with me, pair me with them, and it just was a match made in heaven kind of thing. I think so. Like, it's it's great. And then same with like the Liquid Boys. Like they worked hard right at the start got an opportunity and they're kind of like riding the wave all the way absolutely do you, do you feel like your success so far in the game can be attributed to you guys not having an organ not having that big pressure of you know having a, a big name a big org name on your jersey or do you think that's got nothing to do with it and it's just your talent has just shone through regardless i think i don't think it has anything to do with it i mm. think even if we had an org we'd still be able to perform because it's like preparation is key and yeah. like i was on the server daily like for 10 hours plus a day like either pracking or finding lineups or watching forwards making sure that the boys knew like reactions on setups and like i was trying to build that structure because i knew that we didn't have the experience to be on the fly and like very like uh, loose so having that mm. structure allowed us to um perform and i think we would have performed regardless yeah 100 percent. and obviously you were at excel we spoke about that sub and also content creator do you miss the content creation because i know you've got your own valorant channel as well right so you do a bit of that you're still doing a little bit of that um yeah obviously uh for preparation for first strike i like uh tone down the content creation stop doing it as much but yeah. um i'm sure that come 2021 i'll have more of a better structure because right now it's like i said it's just me getting up server time yeah cracking eating cracking and bed and so like i didn't really give myself any time for anything else just because i really wanted to go pro so 
probably not the most healthiest option, but uh, 2021, yeah, I'd probably do a bit more content on my own channel or some channel. Okay, cool. And last few questions then, Boaster. I've got to ask this one um, because you and uh, Insu Collins, um, your other half, have become quite a force in Valorant. Here you are playing in the final and here she is on the desk hosting as well. What was that like? I saw a few tweets between you, you know, you missed each other and and stuff like that. How That must be a bit surreal, right? It was funny because after the first one against Purple Cobras, I went on the stream to talk to her and she had to ask questions about the team. Obviously, she knows everything about the team (laughs) and everything about me. So it was like a real nice atmosphere, like very wholesome. Um, As for her being on the show, it was like amazing. She's doing like a wonderful job. It's uh, it's, it, it makes me proud watching her up on that stage, just kind of owning it because I know how hard she's worked as well. And we're kind of like a a duo of like hard workers. And um, it's just nice that she's getting uh, complimented and like uh, recognition for the hard work. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So I guess what's next for Summon FC? It's hard to answer that question mm. because you, you just come off the, uh, you just played a, a, a grand final. But what are your sort of thoughts for the future? Are you going to sort of treat it day by day? Like you were saying, you're looking forward to 2021? Yeah, so plans for Summon FC. 2021, uh, you're going to see mad growth uh, from the boys, us as like in terms of players and just individuals uh, themselves. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll see us in the tournaments uh, still upsetting or maybe then by then it won't be called an upset it'll just be the norm uh but uh yeah that's what i'm hoping just that we keep performing we keep growing and keep striving to be the best because that's all we can be 100 percent. and is there anything else you'd like to add boaster anything i might have missed or any shout outs or anything i don't think so just uh thank you for all the fans supporting uh means a lot and yeah 2021 let's get it Let's do it. Well, congrats yeah. again, um, Boaster, on you know reaching the final. I think that's a fantastic achievement. And uh, for everyone watching this, make sure you go and follow Boaster Summon FC on Twitter and everything like that. I'm sure you'll be hearing more from me on Esports News UK writing about these boys. And uh, all the best of luck uh, for the future, Boaster. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Cheers. Take care.